Hi, I'm Fred McNeil, and we're right in front of the Queen Anne's County Board of Education. I'm with Dr. Salins. Dr. Salins, we're fighting weather, humidity, smog, <laughs> fog, and everything else, but we're going to do an interview of my reputation's ruined, okay? Absolutely. Okay. I'll do my best. You always do great, okay? <laughs> By the way, I will have to say I've heard nothing but nice things. Uh, making a very personal superintendent. We need that. You're, you're healing some wounds. Keep up the good work. Right. Thank you. Dr. Salins, you've got a new work group coming to Queen Anne's County. I know you wanted to talk about it. Yes, absolutely. We have a new work group called the Blueprint Implementation Advisory Group. Okay. And this group um, is coming together, all different stakeholders from the health department, um, you know, to several other teachers union, some of our own supervisors, administrators, all coming together for the purpose of really looking at the funding that's been released um, as it relates to the blueprint. Okay. And so um, we're anxious to um, dive into that work to look and see what um, we need to do with the funds, what's going to best meet the needs of the district. Right. Now, you're, we're talking about, I'm going to use my cheat sheet here, all right? Sure. Uh, you can too. What are the ESSER funds? And that's what you're talking about. Right. So the ESSER funds are really the elementary and secondary school um, emergency relief funds. And those funds are tied right into the blueprint, which is, is very complicated. So to break it down a little bit, those funds have come to us in three different areas. Okay. ESSER 1, 2, and 3. Okay. And this will be, and this is what this committee will do. Okay. And the next question is, how's the money going to be allocated? I'm assuming that's what this committee is right. doing. That's exactly right. Okay. So, um, the ESSER one funds actually were already allocated. That was um, not this past school year, but the school year before. Those emergency funds came right away. We used those for PPE and things that we needed em emergency funding for at that time. Um, the second group of funds came this past year and we used those for summer school opportunities for our students. So you'll see that our summer school has been much more robust yes. than it's ever been before. And Kevin Kintop and the gang are doing a great job. They are doing an amazing job and really the whole focus is to um, try to recoup that learning loss. Um, and those funds will also be spent for the same type of opportunities next summer. And then we have ESSER 3 that's just coming in, and ESSER 3 um, is uh, more money. So let me back up. ESSER 1 was about $740,000, and then ESSER 2 was about $3 million. And um, ESSER 3 is $6.8 million. Okay, so nice now that that's when we need our committee members to come together and look at that. So we'll be um, assessing the need here in Queen Anne's County for our students in learning loss, as it really is learning loss. And the biggest thing that I want to do a huge shout out for is okay. that we're going to be sending out a survey and that survey will come out um, to our parents, to our students, to our staff, and to our community. And you want them to answer we and send it back. We want them to send it back. So there's several different ways. We're going to send it out via email to our, you know, to who we have access to, which is our parents, our staff, and our students. But we also have a group of our community partners um, that can jump on board at any time, but we have a list started. So we'll send it out via email that way. It will also be on our website, so there'll be a link right there on the website. And then we'll have paper copies. If there's someone who wants to access that, they can go to any Two school. By, do it by, paper. by paper, go to any school to the front desk and say, can I do a survey? And we'll make sure to include that data in our data set. So people who are fussing about how money is spent, this is their chance for an input. You're giving them a chance, <laughs> there, right? Yes, we definitely want everybody's input. Um, we want to know what are our, you know, we need a needs assessment. Where is the need? And then let's prioritize those needs to see how we can get the biggest bang for our buck. We need to stretch those dollars. It sounds like a lot of money, but, you know, when you look at some of the it's things that... It's not much, is it? It's, it's not. Quickly. It goes, it goes quickly, quickly, and it's based on the population of Title I in your school district. Okay. So those are how the funds are allocated. So some people might say, well, the smaller district got more funds than Queen Anne's. Why? Mm -hmm. We're a larger district. We have more students. It's because of the level of poverty. So Title I schools are based on the level of prior, prior, poverty. So the higher the poverty, the more likely they're going to be a okay. Title I school. But the big thing, you're really looking for community input on this survey. Yes, right? community okay. input, staff input, parent input, student input. We want to hear what are the priorities out there. Okay. We know we've had learning loss. We know we've been hurt from COVID. We know we have students who, and staff members who need, you know, um, support systems in place. And what do they look like? What can we do to gather that data to make sure that we're hitting the needs in Queen Anne's County? And you've got, they can do it via the computer, they can do paper and pencil, they can go to the school, so there's no reason why we don't fill it out. That's absolutely right. Short, sweet, to the point, very, very short. It'll be out on Monday. Look for it, and we hope that um, everybody participates because the bigger the data set, the better the More priorities are. More information you get, yeah. great. 
By the way, on the summer school issue, my grandson went three weeks at Churchill, and he loved it. Excellent. Uh, wherever he went, it was terrific. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the last great. question we're going to ask is, how is the remaining allocation going to be spent from this money? Well, that, that's what, what the committee is going to determine. Okay, so that's so as soon. Okay. Yep, so as soon as we um, meet with that group, the survey goes out, we're going to gather up that data, we're going to look at that, we're going to prioritize it, and then we're going to create that plan of action for that money. Okay. Well, look, at, thanks for coming. You fought the elements. I know. Planes buzziness. <laughs> I don't know who the people are yelling in the background. And you have a meeting at 5 o'clock. I have right? a meeting at 5 o'clock. Thank you very yes, much. Thank right? you. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Fred McNeil, QAC TV7, thank you very much.